and magical folk. It's very Sarah here. I'm sitting in the rain out on my little balcony in the northern hemisphere. The doorway to Inbrook is opening, and here in the southern hemisphere, we have this time. This tricky time that I juggle every year, also known as Lunasa. The rain here is a sweet, sweet, beautiful, sacred thing at the moment as Australia is ravaged by fire. Not in Melbourne, where I find myself, but certainly in Victoria and north up through New South Wales and Canberra and Adelaide to the west of me or through Western Australia it feels like Australia has been on fire. It has been so devastating and overwhelming that I've had to hide from social media more than usual because I can't even stomach to see another burnt animal or forest. It's so incredibly heartbreaking that it has actually broken me. <sighs> I laugh because if I don't laugh I will cry. Ah oh dear, the sense of very heart is feeling all the feelings. And this is kind of what happens to me at this time, as I seem to call it every year, because I'm certainly not baking bread. But I do feel, um, I feel Bridget with me profoundly and um, I don't follow a northern wheel but I certainly pray to Bridget on a daily basis. I wrap a cloth around me when I leave the house and go into the world that's been anointed with special protective oils and I imagine it as St. Bridget's cloak wraps about me, that mantles me, as she mantled and protected the land in her legends and stories. She is both goddess of fire and water and I feel it's really, it is so much of this time. She is this healer, this great one that I'm seeking solace with to heal my body, which has had an autoimmune flare up in response to stress and also to heal this land and um, the people and animals and, and so I feel her, I feel this polar opposite of Lunasar and Inbrook, I feel it on this wall, this tension, this paradox, this beautiful coalescing is the word that wants to come but I probably need to get a dictionary or <laughs> a thesaurus. Um, and always at Lunasar, uh, the green man comes to be with me and they are definitely here with me again, especially today as it rains and I feel the deep sigh of relief of rain soaking into the earth. I feel it as my heart longs and longs and longs for the new home we're going to move into in two weeks, which is going to have a garden, not just this uh, <laughs> balcony that you see here. There's some um, beautiful trees and green everywhere, but um, nothing that I can really dig my hands into and lay down on and uh, be a big weirdo in. I'm not sure I could do it here, but I also have to live amongst everyone and sometimes it's easier to go incognito. I'm sure you understand. I'm going to show you my uh, hearth altar that we've been using to brew our new home. This is the place where the house elf and Bridget are and because we've totally packed up the house, well not totally, but it's three quarters all packed up at the moment. My Lunasar altar has moved there too, so uh, the green man 
sits upon there too and there's this beautiful relationship with both and which is very much uh, overarching theme of my witchcraft practice and so I feel it today as doorways open into this time it's beautiful to scroll through my Instagram feed and see uh, friends in the northern hemisphere celebrating uh, Bridget it just I love it and I can feel this pool of the land of England and Ireland that I love so very dearly, the Cathedral of Bridget, the Well of Bridget, Kilgare, those sacred spaces, the Chalice Well and the White Well in Glastonbury and those beautiful earth spaces of Cornwall, I feel that land explicitly and intrinsically through me at this time which is very new because normally I just am overwhelmed by how much I don't feel Lunas are and how I had turned it into this time which you can see in a previous video of a couple of years ago and so it's curious to ponder on how things have changed. Some treasures of the hearth altar in addition to symbols of this time, Lunasa if you will, and Bridget, our new home manifesting and the sun and the curiousness of how they all weave together effortlessly. This green man plaque was bought in Glastonbury on our visit last year. My husband Ray chose it. <laughs> Can you tell? We have our Buddha who came in this beautiful orange robe in a vision and so I had to find this beautiful piece of orange sparkling fabric for them. They remind us about ease and flow and peace which is our morning prayer at the altar when we light incense and candle for the day for the genus Loki spirits of place ancestors of the land and the hearth spirit this is the hearth spirit candle and this is a jar of earth gathered from my first witchcrafting at this place and when I gathered the earth I happened to um, find a snail shell which is curious because our little house elf really wanted to be painted in snail patterns and has a snail and then lo and behold we end up with a whole pile of snail friends living with us which I'll have to introduce you to one day but if you head over to my Instagram page you can see they have a whole story dedicated to them. A highlight reel of the slimy and brilliant snail friends. We have a cauldron here manifesting our new home. A beautiful rose quartz sphere that's uh, doing some magics for me at the minute so I'll just leave it be. And we've got a cross a beautiful reed cross from Kildare in Ireland when we visited on our honeymoon in 2013 and this is a plaque of St Bridget which is hung in the parish of her cathedral and there's a picture of her cathedral there which we got to go in which was, had the most amazing presence oh my goodness it was uh, very uncanny and I got to stand in her beautiful fire pit where her priestesses would tend her flame. And this is my candle dedicated to her, which funnily enough, 
was really massive when I found it and I found it on the side of a road. Who would throw that out? It wasn't even lit. Wonderful. <laughs> Finders keepers, thrifty witch. We went to her well as well. Usually there's some water for here for her here, but today we have honey. For the honey heart and the honey healing, soaking up my body for all its illnesses going on at the minute. There's a big crystal quartz here, which is set about some healing magics as well. And a beautiful clean slate candle from my dear friend and sister witch, Sarah. She's currently living in Karatha at the moment. And you can find her at Sacred Space Alchemy in the socials. And this candle helped me in manifesting the new home and it is now set to work in some healing magics. We have a woven basket that I wove a couple of years ago which you can see in a video on Lunasar or this time that I made a couple of years ago. And it's funny that here we are again at this time having to move house so the basket is here in this space. It's the nest of little baby owl feathers that were hanging about our home at the time. And I actually ran a basket weaving class a couple of weeks ago which was beautiful and so synchronous. And here's a braid of three ribbons woven together at in bulk just gone last August where I priestessed in that ritual it was one of the graces it was a beautiful beautiful ritual held with the reclaiming community and so that has been hanging out with the candle as well as some spells here's some incense I made one in bulk a couple of years ago, there's only a wee bit left. I've got a little pisky spoon from Cornwall, which I found actually in Western Australia at a car boot sale, which is very random, but there you go. There's not much left, but I'm gonna use it before we move house. And there's a big calcite sphere here, which is the sun beckoning me to go outside. And this beautiful sacred geometry which my husband received as part of his initiation which we puzzled together and it also represents the sun for us which is part of Bridget's magic working with us to go outside and enjoy this life and so here it all is <laughs> all in one so beautiful the hearth and home, the healing, and this time, all together. Ah, we have some spray that I made, a hearth blessing potion. It smells like uh, magic. I'm going to spray some around for us. Well, I think this may very well be my last video that I make for you from our little home. The next one will be in our beautiful new place. Big garden, fairy tree. I'm excited to share it with you. I hope whatever you're doing today, there is peace and gentleness. I feel like lots of people I'm talking to are having a really hard time at the moment. So be kind to one another like candles and give thanks and find delicious joyful things that uplift you seek solace in stillness and calmness let me know what you're doing to celebrate this time blessed be